friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Sasha. Today in this video, we are going to see about the sources of food. We all eat food every day, isn't it? Some food we eat are raw, some are cooked, and some are mixture of various food items. Have you ever thought where this food comes from? Before discussing the answer, first let us know what is food. Food is any substance used as a source of nourishment for an organism. What happens if we do not eat food for an entire day? We get very weak and tired by the end of the day. Food is very essential for us. The process by which living organisms obtain food and utilize it for their growth and development is called nutrition. Food has some essential components. These chemical substances provide nourishment for the growth and development of our body. This substance is called nutrients. On whole, food is very essential to provide energy, to provide nutrient, helps in the repair and replacement of monoxyl, protects our body from various diseases. Next, we are going to see about the sources of food. Food habits of people differ from place to place. It depends upon the climate, culture and the availability of food on the area. For example, people living in the coastal area eat lots of seafood as it is easily available over there. Food items can be eaten raw or can be prepared by mixing different food items. For example, fruits and vegetables can be eaten raw but those are idli and biryani are prepared by mixing different food items. Substances from which the food is made by mixing different food items to form delicious dish is called ingredients. For example, those are batteries made up of rice and urad dal. That is, rice and urad dal are the ingredients to make up dosa matter. Similarly, vegetable soups are made of water, spices, vegetables, oil, etc. Next, we are going to see about the food obtained from various parts of the place. First, consider the roots. Carrot, radish, beetroot, and turnip, etc. are some of the edible roots that we eat. Next is the stem. Potato, yam, and ginger are the modified stem that grew underground. Turmeric is also an underground stem. When cut, it is bright orange in color. It is then dried and powdered before used in making dishes. Next is the leaves. Spinach, cabbage, coriander and fenugreek are some of the common edible leaves. Many green leafy vegetables are eaten raw. Next one is the flowers. Cauliflower, broccoli etc. are some of the flowers that we eat. Clove is a flower bud. It is dried and used as spices in dishes. Next one is the fruits. Mango, papaya, apple are some of the fruits that we eat. Cucumber, capsicum and tomato etc. are some of the fruits that we eat as vegetables. Next one is the seeds. Pulses that we eat are also seeds. Mustard, fennel, nutmeg are also seeds. Many cooking oil are obtained from seeds. For example, mustard oil is obtained from mustard seed and sesame oil is obtained from sesame seeds. Do you know where honey comes from or how it is produced? Honey bees provide us with honey. They are prepared from the nectar of plants and store it in their beehives. It is a unique food that does not get spoiled at room temperature. Do you know how sprouts are made? To do this activity, take some moon dawn and soak it in water overnight. Take them the next day and wrap them in a wet cloth. Leave it for another day. Now, unwrap them. Will you observe any change? Yes. There are tiny white slenders outgrowths called radicals. Such seeds are called sprouts and this process is called sprouting. Sprouts can be eaten raw or can be cooked. Come on, let me show the sprouts. Can you able to see these tiny white slender outgrowths? This outgrowth is called radical. Such seeds are called sprouts and this process is called sprouting. Next, we are going to see about food from animals. Human beings consume a variety of animal products as food. Different animals provide us with different types of food products. For example, we get egg from hen, quail, duck, etc. We get meat from cow, goat, etc. We get milk from cow, goat, camel, etc. Several dairy products such as butter, ghee, cheese are obtained from milk. Based on the food consumed, people are categorized into vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Vegetarian. Vegetarian do not eat meat. They eat plant and plant products such as fruits and vegetables. Non-vegetarians primarily eat meat and other products. They both consume milk and milk products. 
but there is an exception. Vegans does not even eat animal products such as egg, butter, ghee, cheese, etc. Now let's quickly review some points that we learnt on sources of food. A seed that is eaten. Maize. Ingredients used in making dosa. Rice, uradon, salt. Two edible seeds from which oil is extracted. Mustard, sesame. A stem that is eaten. Sugar cane. Animal product used to make cheese and butter. Milk. An edible root. Carrot. An organism that prepares its own food. Producers. Spice obtained from bark of a tree. Cinnamon. A flower bud used as a spice. Cloud. Two edible fruits. Orange cucumber. Now we come to the end of the first part of sources of food. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I will meet you in the next video with continuation of sources of food. Until then bye bye from Sasha.